our next storyteller is Katie Beck, and her story is entitled Random FP Moments. Is that right? FP stands for Firestone Park. Uh, I was not prepared either, just like Mike said. I I kind of came in being like, I'm just going to listen. Like That's where I identify right now, just being someone who wants to be in spaces and listen to people's stories. But I would say that 70% of the reason I came up here was because of everyone, what you've said. You've inspired me to sort of share my own moment of doubt. Um, 15% was the fact that I wanted to represent women. There's always this like feminist part of me that's like, just be a strong woman and say what you need to say. <laughs> and then uh, the other 15% is that I'm trying to challenge myself to feel uncomfortable at least once a week. And so this is one of those moments where I feel uncomfortable, but I'm going to push through it anyway. So, <laughs> so I'm going to start with just a big pile of shit. I um, <laughs> just, I want it to be out there so I don't cry again to try and represent women. I'm trying to feel strong and not get emotional. I cry easily. So I, this past year, I've been struggling with depression and anxiety. Um, there's the shit. It's there. You know. Great. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my childhood. I grew up on Mission Drive on that side of Firestone Park. I went to St. Paul's uh, School. So I have a lot of memories growing up with my parents ma married, and I would go to St. Paul's and be a little Catholic schoolgirl. I had my like cute little uniform skirt that I loved to wear, and like I just was like totally oblivious to the world, and it was awesome. Then I had a stint where I lived in New Jersey for a year. That's a whole other story in seventh grade. Then I came back to Akron. Um, my family moved to this side of Firestone Park, which if anyone knows the geography, the stigma, anything about this area, when you move to the other side of Archwood or the other side of, what is this, fi North Firestone Boulevard or something or south, this side is considered like more ghetto or like just like not as elegant as that side of Firestone Park. So I remember when I moved over here in eighth grade, <laughs> I had a lot of memories. Like uh, my friend, wh one of my best friends who I now live with, lived on Sherman. I lived in Girard. Um, we would walk on to Astor and we would flirt with the hot guy who used to work at the Mini Mart. Um, and we would go to Geppetto's and get a slice of pizza when it was still here. And we would go to the park, um, play tennis. Um, there would be amazing athletes who were uh, predominantly Chinese from Garfield who would play volleyball and we always wanted to be invited to play with them and sometimes they would invite us and we would feel just like the shit because we were able to play volleyball with them. So I have a lot of these like wonderful memories in this area. Um, another one is that actually we used to come into the Firestone Park Library to do our homework and there was one time that we were blowing bubbles and screaming obscenities and we got kicked out of the library. So maybe I'm still barred from this, <laughs> from this place, but it was, it's a fond memory. So my point being that uh, this area is very important to me. Um, I had a lot of fun and crazy memories and I was very confident when I was in grade school. When I was in high school, I went to St. Vincent St. Mary. Um, I still spent a lot of my time here because my best friend. Um, and then I went away to school. I went away to Northwestern Pennsylvania, a school called Allegheny College. Uh, I learned a lot. I was challenged a lot. But I don't know if this is just me or if other people have experienced this, but that knowledge that I got um, from being around different people and from learning different things actually brought down my confidence. Like I was constantly being questioned for why I was doing certain things, and I was constantly wondering what my role was in this world. Um, so when I graduated last year, May of 2014, I moved back to Akron to sort of reconnect myself with this community because it's a place that I've always felt strongly connected to, um, that I've always felt happy and had fun memories. Um, so I moved back. I did some theater in Cleveland. Um, that doubt was sort of still growing me, um, which again, now that I identify as depression and anxiety, um, it was growing in me. And then this past April, I had been living with this, these like thoughts in my head of like, why am I here? What am I doing? Like, I graduated with a theater major, right? We're talking about useless majors. Like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I, I struggled, like I'm still struggling to find a job. Like, I still can't find a job, even though I know I'm a capable and intelligent person. But in April of this past year, I said, okay, Katie, what do you want to do? What type of work do you want to do? And I said, okay, I want to hear people's stories and I want to create theater, right? So I contacted 
um, the lovely woman, Lori, at the community center, and I said, hey, I think I want to do a play here. Um, and this was one of my big moments of like, oh my God, you're just literally putting yourself out there. You are not thinking about it. You're just like saying what you want and you're saying what you want to do. And she responded, fortunately, with the fact that they're doing the centennial celebration this year and that they would love to do a play with me. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is fate. Like I have had all this doubt this past year about who I am and what I'm doing. And Firestone Park is finally giving me this moment to come back reconnect with the community and create this play. So I guess my story is about the fact that I am still dealing with doubt every single day. 50% of the time I don't get out of bed. The other 50% of the time I push myself to come to events like this or just go to the bar or whatever it is. Um, but Firestone Park has always been the anchor for me and I'm really thankful for that. Um, so I guess that my doubt has subsided somewhat because of this project um, and I just want to give a shout out to this library and all the space and all the people here. Okay. <laughs>